You're kidding. This is not that hard. Uh, golf, you were extremely close. The correct answer was oidioid. Oidioid is a valid Scrabble word. O-I-D-I-O-I-D. -I -I what does that mean? Yeah, it's some kind of chemical thing. I don't know. You have to be able to find the words to play it? Well, it's a good thing I'm not playing with your family. It's... it's something that resembles an oid. What do you want? It's an oidioid. Yeah, I think when I saw it, I tried... Uh, iodioid? And then, after that, tried oidioid. And that was right. There we go. We can move on. Oidioid, like from Animal Crossing? Is that a thing in Animal Crossing? How did I not get either of these? I, I thought I was doing the mashing okay, but uh, that's not good. It is 5.30 a.m. for you, isn't it, Lucas? I'm so sorry. As I said in my Discord, I'm driving my roommate to the airport in like an hour, so I just- I have time for the one run. Oh, there are the little creatures that end in Oid. I've only played Animal Crossing on the GameCube, uh, the original Animal Crossing, I think it was, and I haven't played it that much. But I do- I do vaguely remember those. He fell asleep on the couch. I'm so sorry, Lucas. I will try my best not to world record just for you, but uh, no promises. New Horizons looks really good. It does look like an extremely cute game. I rated someone playing that the other day. Um, Alexa Be Awesome, who is in my chat from time to time, is uh, is real big on New Horizons. Some GT7 tonight. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we get to do new skip. Everybody get ready for new skip. Get ready, get ready for the skip. There's the skip. I hope you are all ready. Got all golds on the IA set. Nice. Yeah, have a good night, Lucas. I watched a movie today, by the way, um, that I will try my best to remember to write a review of eventually. <laughs> I haven't reviewed the last couple movies I've watched because I'm a bad friend. But uh, it, was, it was a good one. I, I watched Babylon with my parents. It was, it was good. It was... Lowercase good with a lot of capital good moments. Moments and sequences. I, I have more to say, but you need to go to bed and I can write a review of it later. Yep, you too. You too.
that's not right, is it? No, it is. It's fine. Silly, silly. Thinking of Aerolith earlier, I was, uh, I was reflecting again on how tough that website feels. It, it can be hard to feel like I'm making good word learning progress when, uh, when most people who use that site are people who know a lot of words and have been using it for a long time. Because <laughs> with the leaderboards, like, gosh, it happens so often that I finish a round and I feel really good about it. I'm like, oh my god, I got 98% of the words right with very few mistakes. This was great, I did a good job, and I'm in the bottom half of the leaderboard. <laughs> and that's for the categories where I can't even get nearly 100% with few mistakes. With the sevens, I'm lucky to get, like, 40%. I think I've only had a few, few attempts that went over 40%. Yeah, no, it absolutely is. It's where I try to to recognize, like, you know, I got 40% this time, but I usually only get, like, 30%, so this is a good day. This is a good day where I'm in the bottom third of the leaderboard. Are you serious? Dude. And also, just like with the uh, N and speedrunning, uh, it can be fun to find people that you frequently end up near, and have, like, leaderboard rivals like that. It's very fun to me whenever I see that I beat Dustin on something, which is extremely rare, but it occasionally happens. I really should be using it more than I am, though. I do a few categories daily, but I'm not doing them in a, a way that's actually optimal for learning. Because I, I really should be using it to just rigorously study the threes and fours. I think that's what, uh, that's what would benefit me the most from it right now. I don't think I'm actually getting a lot out of trying the sevens. Although, I don't know. I think it's making me... I think I am finding improvement at anagramming words that I do already know. Um, you know, like, words where if I looked at it I could tell you, yep, that's a real word or not, but that I would not necessarily be able to find in an anagram. I think I am getting better at those. But it's not like I'm learning new seven-letter words much, except in cases like oidioid. But those are very, very rare. Ooh. 
Hmm. I see a lot of letters there. How many letters is this? Like 10? 11? <laughs> See, there's no R, so the word train is not in there anywhere. It's not like train spotting or something. There's also no G, so there's no I-N-G. There are T-I-O-N, so it could be a shun word. But there's a Y, which makes me think it won't be. I also have good instinctive feelings about a T-T-Y ending. Um... Plastio T no, that's no. Hmm. But a word I am very familiar with. Get it. Dragon. Vortex. Kingsley. <laughs> Is it the word fox? I think it might be the word fox. That's a word I'm familiar with. No, no. I'll, uh, let's see. Very nice. That was very fast. I might be able to, uh... Might be able to avoid needing extra heart pickup later. We'll see, we'll see. No crud. I hate when I... I hate when I do exactly that, and I did it again. You want to jump over that second note, not run over it? Yeah, rhinoplasty was the first thing I thought of, but no R. Paleo... No, that's with an E. I mean, there's no word there that starts with paleo anyway, I think, but... The paleo prefix definitely has... You're kidding, what was that? Definitely has an E. Well, that drop is unfortunate. It slows me down some. And I... I will want to pick up a heart. You know what? No. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to pick up a heart. I'm going to play it bold and brash, and no one can stop me. I'm gonna pick up a heart. I need it now. I actually need it. That's really unfortunate that I took two extra damage in that room. I was feeling really good about it. Plus. City. No, there's no C. That also doesn't have an N. Plan... No, Plantain has two N's. Plantation also has two N's and no Y. I also did actually get that in one hit, so I would have... I would have been fine. That's, that's too bad. Uh, yes, please give me a hint. Austerity has an R. I'm just thinking of long words that have some of these letters. This is bad. Yeah, that was really bad. Damn it. I got them at a bad angle. I, I didn't have a chance there. I was never going to get that clip.
It is a compound word. <laughs> Damn it, I was thinking about skipping the hearts in this room too, and then I did that. Well, one of the words in the compound word could be spot. But the other word would be very long and have two A's. Hold on, I need to focus on this boss fight for a second. Also be post. It does not. Oh, we still got it. Okay, good. If uh, snuff falls too long after you do, you don't get the kill. You just die and need to do the boss again. But we got it, so we're fine. So we move on. Okay. Yo, Manly? Zandosley? Zandosley's adventure? Could also be plain? P L A I N as one of the words? Oh, what am I doing? This isn't right. <sighs> I'm a bozo. Don't be a bozo. Don't be a bozo! I'm so sad. I. You can do this room a lot faster than I am right now, and I totally messed it up. Because of how I did this room, I need to wait for this box now. Instead of catching that earlier box. If one of the words is plain. The other word would have two T's and a Y. Not the right button, oh my god. Welcome to my new life as Bozo. I am officially Bozo the Clown, I've taken over. Meep meep, I agree Tartrazine. That was Tartrazine, he's the best NPC in any video game. I want to hold left out of this dialogue. I keep holding right, and it's much slower. It could be paint. Paint is not a common compound word component. <laughs> Lions. <laughs> no, it's still missing an A. Pate Lions. It is manly. Uh, I need to give Joe a ride to the airport tonight. He's got a, a flight at 5.30 a.m. So I, uh, I'm up late anyway, I figured I'd do a run, one attempt. <laughs> Panty loins. That's still missing an A. And has an extra N and is missing a T. Patty. Patty something. Oh, what am I doing? I need to talk to you. Patty. 
trillones. Four, then seven, and it is a proper noun. Four, then seven, it has a proper noun. Fady 180. <laughs> Is it someone's username? <laughs> Lumi Laura. I know what you're gonna say. That's missing almost all of the letters, but I think I think it might be that. Not a username, it's a brand. Ooh. A brand, a compound word brand. I don't like that the bug keeps landing there. Whoa! That has not happened to me before! I thought you could make that always as soon as it's starting to go up. Very interesting. Very interesting. We're learning. We're learning from our mistakes. excuse for still not getting the alpha gram. Um, spot, stop, stop, A. How many brands start with the word stop? Yo, Jay-Z. It has been a little bit. I try not to be up this late these days. <laughs> This game is really good, that's how I've been. It's a very, very fun speedrun. <laughs> how many games have I streamed that I didn't like? Did I stream Bugs Life for the Game Boy Color, or did I do that race offline? And would I say that I didn't like Monster House? I want to do this now. Almost forgot.
Wait, is this? Yeah, no, this is the right path. I just, I just got turned around. GBC bug was awful. I, <laughs> oh my god. I'm happy I played that game once so that I know not to play it again. <laughs> Did I ever stream Spyro Season of Ice? Because I don't like that game either. I, I, I remember trying to play it again in the last few years to see, like, is my memories of this game as a kid wrong? Because I, you know, a lot of things have grown on me as an adult when I can see what they were going for. But that game, I don't like that game. Not, not the least bit. Thoughts? Potsly day. I really need to play Season of Flame and Attack of the Rhinox now, because I have heard people say- people who did not like Season of Ice. I have heard them say that those games are better than Season of Ice. And I- I really want to like Spyro games. And maybe if I can enjoy those, I will start to enjoy Season of Ice more. But I just... I just still know. I don't know that I can bring myself to enjoy playing that game. Spoil... Spoily... Past Leonte. Your favorite dish. My favorite part of alphagrams is when I just start putting the letters together. Just make sounds. Just try to make any sound. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're less fine, but we're still okay. I just can't get hit by you. By you! And beyond. Neither bed bath nor beyond. I am drawing a huge blank on this. <laughs> Pasta is in there, and pasta is so good. Yeah, the glitches in this game are fun. There's a new one in this dungeon, actually, that I, I saw but have not been able to practice yet. Oh, Golf got it? 
Golf, if you think you have it, I, I welcome you to shout it out. I'm I don't think I'm getting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give give your your guess. PlayStation. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's definitely PlayStation. It was Bed Bath and Beyond. I knew it. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one. I am on the fence about which of the up warps in this room are better. And I, I keep going back and forth between them. I, they haven't been timed yet, so I, I don't know. Yes, they did file for bankruptcy. Yeah, PlayStation's a good one. I feel silly for not getting that. Very, very good, Pixie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the new um, up warp, by the way, is in this room. It uh, it skips two of the platform rides. Basically, in this hall, you uh, you shoot this guy in front of me, and you can just do an up warp over there. Skip a little bit. You unfortunately can't get all the way to the end of the room by doing that. Um, you can do, you know, you can do okay. Uh, hello? Hit him. Oh, Kingsley, please. Three hearts and two lives. That that kind of seems to be the norm here, doesn't it? <laughs> I I should really expect to be at that point. Did I die an extra time this run? Yes, I did. So, ideally, I could be at three lives right now. Are you serious? How? <laughs> it's so dumb that I keep failing these particular jumps in this room. This dungeon is so hard, and those jumps are not the hard part. Also, if I was willing to lose a little time and get one more life, I could even be at four lives in this room. That hit is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Uh, for what it's worth, for the people who haven't been, um, haven't been watching a bunch of these runs, I keep getting runs that are on, like, massive world record pace. The world record is currently a 56, it's like 56.36, and I've had multiple runs that have been on, like, 53 pace, uh, that died in this dungeon, because I keep playing very recklessly. So we'll see. We'll see. And even if I get out of this dungeon, it's, it's not the end of the game. You know, there's still there's still a lot of places I can mess up. Really happy that worked. That's a time save, right there. Hitting those targets from, uh, from the previous platform. Okay, this is why my low health is okay, because I do pick up some more right here. And now, hopefully, I don't take a bunch of damage in this room. <laughs> I will, but hopefully I won't. That's some of the damage that I really didn't want to take. <laughs> Crud. Um... What do you think, chat? Is it worth... Is it worth going for the big skip anyway? 
No, there's a new skip I need to learn regardless, so like... I don't know. I'd rather... I'd rather try to finish a run than throw in this dungeon. I gotta wait here. I've thrown in this dungeon so many times already. I should have waited again! Now I actually, I actually can't go for it. I don't have enough health anymore. And I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna get hit. Very nice. That's fine. I... I... <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy I took that damage, so the question of the skip is gone. Basically, that really big enemy at the start... Oh, come on. I can use that enemy to do an up warp in this room, and skip basically this whole room. But it does take a really long time to set up. Um, but that enemy does enough damage to me that I, I don't think I can try it anymore. So we're just gonna take the long way, and that's fine. We can still get a perfectly good run like this. No! That's fine. That's fine. So that enemy normally just jumps off a cliff to his death, but he can land on the platform with you. <laughs> and that's the first time he actually has to me. I knew it was possible, but that's the first time it's happened to me. So low on health and this boss coming up has been really wailing on me. So hopefully, uh... Hopefully that also just won't be an issue. Yo, Broby. Thank you, thank you. How much longer is the run? Like, 20-ish minutes. I know we're pushing it, but also, like... Eugene Airport's empty. <laughs> You're gonna have plenty of time. Crud, please, please don't die. There we go. I should have picked up more health. Oops. Yeah, Joe's getting a 5.30 a.m. flight. Okay, well my health is gonna be a concern for the next boss too, so that's fun. I really should have picked up health in that last room. Joe, I honestly don't know why you have such bad luck with this. Like I said, my my flight to golf, I'm getting there at like 11 p.m. or whatever, but I think I'm leaving Eugene at like midday, something. That was early. That was... Okay, I have one hit point for the next boss. It's possible that I will get a health pickup in the next fight, but, uh, kinda depends on some boss RNG. Oh, get, get over there.
There we go. Okay, if I do die on this boss, as long as I die quickly, it's not the end of the world. I just... The big thing is I don't want to spend, like, a minute here and then die, you know? Like that. I'm fine with that. I'm actually fine with that. Because I respawn right here. I have full health for the rest of the fight. We're good. I'm actually surprised that, uh, that the boss threw magic at me then, and then also, and not the axe. To do the normal strat here. That's good. Have a good one, Pixie. I'm glad you could stop by. I hope you're well. I hope your cat is well. I hope all is well. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised that there's, like, still ten minutes left. I guess this fight is kind of long, and the final boss is, like, two minutes, so... No, I guess that adds up. This fight is extremely easy, it's just really slow. And it'll take me a little bit to get to, uh, to the library and go back to Seatown. This is the run. God, I hope so. That, that tough spot where, like, I know that any one of my runs could be a new world record, but also there's still new stuff being found that I want to learn, but I'd like to get a decent rundown before I, like, dedicate really hard into learning stuff, you know? Because there's things I could be doing faster in this, there's other skips that I could be implementing, but I'm choosing not to. See what happens. Uh, yeah, this way. I always get turned around coming out of that fight, but this is the right way.
So now the whole castle is celebrating that I saved the four towns from their dungeons. But there's still a Shadow Knight out there I need to deal with. That I have two health for. No, I pick up health. I pick up health. Forgot about that. Eh, potato, potato. Whatever you want to call it. I went a little slow there to block a few hits, but I think that's worth it, given how much grief this boss has been giving me lately. There's actually some tricky, um, some tricky health routing I need to start thinking about here. Because three health is not a lot, given that I'm about to take more damage going to Bad Custard. I learned from, uh, from the Task Videos forum that, uh, if you jump in the volcano outside of Bad Custard's lair, it just warps you right in front of the door. That is decent time save, but also, kinda don't want to be at two hearts for that fight, or I'm just gonna die again. Also, Pixie leveled up, very nice. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to take that damage outside the fight. I I'm, I just wanna wanna just see this run out. <laughs> Sometimes you do a run super safe, and a future PB you will do faster and riskier, and this gets to be the safe one. Don't make Joe late. Joe will be fine. I can't wait to play this safe and die during boss fight anyway. I very well could. It's very easy for that to happen. Also, I, I mean, this doesn't save that much. No, oh god, it saves quite a bit of time. Oh well. <laughs> This way that I'm avoiding because I'm awesome. He's gonna get mad again, but I'm gonna go around and beat him up. And he's 
he's gonna hit me with magic because I'm not in a position to dodge it there and I don't know how to deal with that. Like when he's that close to you, I, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to how to avoid that attack. No. Then one more normal hit, then he goes to his final spot. And I totally would have been fine <laughs> taking the, the damage and getting here faster. Oh, no, now I wouldn't have. Never mind. Now it's actually a really good thing that I didn't do that. <laughs> Two twenty-three. Oof. Four minute world record. This is better than I was expecting it to be. Given the things I didn't go for, this is better than I was expecting it to be. I thought this was gonna be like a fifty-three. Neat. Yeah, honestly, I thought sub-50 was still off the table, but, uh, nah. Nah, it, um, seems pretty, pretty reasonable. I'm trying to get a screenshot. There we go. Um, because yeah, I didn't do the new Dungeon 4 skip uh, for that one, that one arrow room. I fell in the one long Dungeon 4 room. I didn't do the Dungeon Room vertical room skip, the elevator skip. Elevator? I don't know what to call that. Um... Yeah, it'll be just a minute. I didn't do all of those. I'm still not doing the Dungeon 2 red key skip that I know is possible. I had to do a second attempt at the Dungeon 2... Grapes skip? I don't know what that door is. I think it's a grape key. So yeah, I mean, point is, like, there's loads of time to save here still. So yeah, honestly, sub-50... 50s on the table. I'm surprised by it, but it actually is on the table. Um, I'm going to raid Dact, who is doing a Final Fantasy IX speedrun right now. Dact, for anyone who doesn't know, is a extremely long time Spyro speedrunner and just a generally really cool person. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out for this. Have a good night, everybody.